Well, there you are. You doing good? You're supposed to be doing some stuff today, but you decided, oh, what the hell? I'm going to listen to a podcast. You driving? You at work? Where you at? I'm here in the studio, man, and and, and I'm kind of in shock is what I am. Two years into this COVID-19 pandemic and another family in our neighborhood has been diagnosed with the virus. Two years into this. I learned last week that Dr. Fauci, you know, that guy that's always been in the public eye, the man that kept us clearly up to date during the lockdown, he eventually said, we're all going to get it. We just don't know when. Just be prepared for it. Which means what to the average person? I mean, I'm in full view of a wandering generation. People like Fauci said, do not do it. Steer clear of the human connection. More than ever, the masses today do not really care about passing the virus forward. I mean, you see them. You're out there. You wearing a mask. Are you doing everything? You wearing some gloves. You washing your hands. Remember when they told us to wash our hands for like two minutes? Do you remember the lockdown? So we were always in there. Water bill goes through the roof. Jeez. You know, and here's the thing. My, my neighbor, who's a pharmacist, she's had four shots, four shots. And I learned last week that she and her son had COVID-19. And, and how about over there in North Korea? Since May 1st, 2022, four million people have been diagnosed with COVID-19. I got to tell you, I, I got I to gotta sketch something out here on this page. Dear future reader, I'm not sure what life has evolved into, but are you better than what we were before? Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I look at life and say, oh, there's a story here. Share it or someone's going to write it for you, right? (laughs) This is The Daily Mess. That word evolution... I mean, as a child back in the 1970s in school, you never spoke of the word evolution. Those were fighting words and people were always in the mood to protest. All I ever heard as a kid, we did not come from monkeys. Yet it's through evolution that we've adopted and evolved through an unbelievable computerized atmosphere and all things connected. All right, but let's look into this, okay? Let's look at the full definition of what evolution truly is. Okay, you ready? The gradual development of something from simple to more complex. That's it. That's that's what evolution means. The gradual development of something from simple to more complex. We're surrounded by it every single day because we have learned how to accept change. Doesn't mean that we like it, but we still have to deal with it. How we speak, how we live, how we choose to make decisions. Honestly, I would really like to jump into the future about 50 years just to see what the human hands look like. With all the texting we do, I I just want to see what our thumbs look like. How big are they going to be? In two years, we've seen one big evolutional change. Remote business. Yeah. People don't want to go back to the office. They're revolting. I'm not going back. I don't need to. I can do my job from home, thanks to this computer. Which makes me wonder, maybe we didn't come from monkeys. No, 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 don't, don't, don't turn me out. This is not the 1970s. Don't, don't. I, I, I got a simple question. If we didn't come from monkeys, is it possible that those in the future created a computer that created us back here? Therefore, we are the product of the computer age. And that my mommy and daddy were nothing more than a computer chip. You still with me? I hear crickets. You there? Hello? I got to reboot my computer. (laughs) I'm Errol, and that's the Daily Mass.